Welcome back to another tutorial on Adobe Lightroom version 4. Today we're going to do a little bit of skin retouching on a photo. Um, you can see by the picture, the picture was taken pretty much right about sunset, but the warmth of the color, the orange color. We're going to change this so it's a little bit cooler, a little bit blue. And, and the way to do that is to go over here and grab your white balance tool and pick on a part of the image that's a neutral color. Typically you want a gray. And when you click on it, you'll see now the image has turned much more bluish in color. So what we do next is we just go over to the right side of the, the panel to start changing the colors as we need it to brighten up the image. You can see that we have a little bit of overexposure in her face. So we're going to start moving some of these over to the middle of the image, which will give us a clearer image. And the way to do that now is we're going to go over here to the highlights. And we're going to drop the highlights to take some of the brightness off her face. So I'm going to use the keypad here to go minus 75. I'm using the tab key to go down until I hit the blacks. Now I'm going to go minus 50 on the blacks. The clarity, I'm going to use 10 on the clarity, which will bring out a little bit more detail in, in the image itself. Vibrance, saturation, we're going to leave the same. We're going to skip over the, the tone curve. I don't use this a lot in uh, portrait photography. So we're going to skip over this section to go down to the next section, which is the HSL color or black and white. We're going to stay here on HSL and the saturation. She has green in this jacket on a black jacket with white writing. So the green, I want to move this up to bring out a little bit of color in the green. So I'm going to use plus 30 on this one. We're going to leave the blues, the purples, the magentas, leave those alone. Sharpening, we're going to sharpen the image. We're going to use, on this image, I'm going to use plus 45. By default, Lightroom uses 25, so I want to actually increase this a little bit. Radius, I'm going to leave the same. Detail, I'm going to leave the same. Masking, I want to bump this up a little bit to 25. Noise reduction, I'm going to, the luminance, I'm going to add to this to say plus 40. The detail, I want 100% of the detail of this image. I don't want to lose any of the clarity of the image, so I'm going to move that to plus 100. The masking, I'm going to move that up to say 25. I'm not going to adjust the contrast, we've already done that earlier in the the image. So now we go back to the full view of this picture. You can see now we've changed the color. We have brightened up the the model and moved the background back a little bit, which gives more focus on on her. So now what we have to do is we have to do a little bit of skin retouching. This is a question we get a lot on what you would do to an image uh, before you process it. I have a rule that I use that if there's something on an image that either the client, the customer, or the model does not like, I just remove it. If she has a blemish on her face, if it's not going to be there with, say, two to three weeks, but I will just go ahead and remove it anyways and then do the softening of the skin. And how to do that is you go over here to the right panel and click on the spot removal tool and it drops down a window that gives you your brush size and the opacity. And when you're doing this type of removal, you want to use a brush that's just slightly bigger than what you're working on. So like this mole right here, she did not like, so I'm going to use this. So all you have to do is change your brush size so a little bit larger, go to the image, Click and drag it off of the image to a clean spot on her face. And it will remove that spot for you. 
So on all the spots on her face that I'm going to just go over and I'm going to move these spots out of the way so that they no longer show up in the image. And then when we go back and do this actual softening, it'll clean up any part of the image that we may have missed or overlooked, but it will still leave some texture in the image for her. So we're going to go back and continue moving all of these little spots around. Just click and drag. We want to leave some of the detail there, and we don't want to do it all. So what I notice is right here on her nose, there's another little spot here. I'm going to re remove that spot. I don't need a brush this big, so I'm going to go down here click on the Done, and then go back to the Spot Removal tool, and now I'm going to change the brush to a little bit smaller brush, say about size 12, 13. I'm just going to move that over, which will give me a clean section of her face. When I'm there, I can click Done, or hit Enter on your keyboard. We'll, we'll take it and get it back to where it was. So now we're back to the, the full image the way that it is. So we still want to do the skin softening of the this image. And how you do that is we can zoom in. You go under the Adjustment Brush. Click on the effect. We want to go all the way down here to where it says soften skin. When you get this window, you're going to have all the different sliders that you can use. The only one I'm concerned about at this time would be the brush size. As you can see that here I want a little bit larger brush. Feather I'm going to leave the same. Flow I'm going to leave the same. I'm not going to turn on the auto mask. You can if you want to. It shows you where you're working on the image. So all you do now is you just start painting over the image. And as you paint, it's going to smooth out her skin, taking away a, a few of the wrinkles, a little bit of blemishes, and gives it that portrait type look that you see on most photographs. You know that let you you know it in process. So we're just going to paint over her face, and as we do, you can see that it starts to soften her skin. So now we're going to move the image up and do the same process. Go back to the adjustment brush. We still have the skin softening selected and continue painting on the face and then when you're done what you're going to see is you have a, a very even very smooth look across the image so there it's not as hard as most people think that it is to get a nice clean you know the soft skin that you see in magazines um, stuff like that so we're going to click the Done. It's just a real quick rough draft and open it up. So now, when you look at it, we have taken away the blemishes. And this particular young lady, she did not like the fact that you could see this. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go back. And I'm just going to paint over this part of her neck, which will smooth out this line a little bit. So it doesn't look we're not changing it, we're just smoothing it out just, just a little. This is, you know, this is, you'll have to, you'll do this every once in a while. And like, again, it, it's not something that is, absolutely has to be done. It, it's, it's how you want your clients to accept their photos when they're done. So this is basically it. At this point, I, I was done with her image. Um, you can see now on the histogram we have moved these colors back over into the middle of the image. We have made her stand out from the background. And it, you don't have to go back between like Photoshop. You don't have to go back between Lightroom or a third party software. It's there. You just have to be able to get to it. And that's how you do it. So if you have any questions on this video or anything we may have missed, please give us an email and we will get back to you just as soon as we possibly can.